Despite breaking news with a 9-3 to vote, a jury recommended Bestman Okafor be sentenced to death. He is convicted of killing 19-year-old Alex Zaldivar in 2012. Within the last two hours, we heard from family on both sides of this case. West Chew's Christina Watkins is live outside the Orange County Courthouse right now. Christina, it's been a pretty emotional few weeks for everyone involved. And that's because this was the third time they all had to sit through witness testimony and seeing all that evidence once again. We just heard from Alex Aldevar's dad, who says he's glad the defense put up a good fight in defending Bessman Okafor. But on the other side of things, Okafor's family says their fight is not over yet. We, the jury, find by a vote of nine to three. A jury once again recommended the death penalty for Bessman Okafor that Bessman Okafor should be sentenced to death. It's the third time a jury had to decide his fate after getting convicted for the 2012 murder of 19-year-old Alex Aldivar. You know, my son was executed on the ground. Two shots to the back of the head. You know, this is what happens in the Middle East. A jury sentenced him to death in 2015, but the decision was overturned because the jury was not unanimous. The second resentencing trial was tossed out because a juror did not follow the rules. I am grateful that he's being sent back to death row, but we were looking for a 12 0, and because we may need to come back here again in the future. But I can assure you that I will be here if we need to go through a fourth trial because our lawmakers decide to change the laws again. After the reading, Okafor smiled at his aunt from Nigeria and said he'll be okay. I'm heartbroken. I'm disappointed. They're waiting for me to report back what happened to Besman. I don't have any good news to tell them. She believes her nephew is still innocent and she is fighting for justice. I am begging anyone that knows who is the shooter is, you should come forward. Because they're about to kill someone that is innocent of this hideous crime. Now the judge still has to formally sentence Bestman Okafor as of right now. That is scheduled to happen in April. Reporting live from the Orange County Courthouse, Christina Watkins, West 2 News.